what I what I found growing up a lot was what are you? Mm. What are you? And my defense mechanism used to be I'm a human. Yeah. Um, because I just couldn't I couldn't address it when yeah. I was growing up, you know? Like whenever anyone would be like, Oh yeah, but where are you from? I'd be like, Earth. You know, yeah. I just kind of style it out. And I think it's really the reason I ended up in my career was yeah. I mean, I don't know about you, but definitely that imposter syndrome and that sense of not fitting in yeah. is really the reason that I carved a career in a way that I would definitely get noticed. So it was burlesque was the first thing. Was that, am I right? It was burlesque that you first went into? I first went to IT. Right, okay. <laughs> I was such a computer nerd. Yeah. Well, this is, see, this is hashtag Asian. Yeah. So, so I bet um, your dad was buzzing with that, wasn't he? Well, he, yeah, I mean, it wasn't a doctor, so it wasn't yeah. quite right, but it was acceptable. Yeah. So I grew up in a very, very Asian household, even though my mom is British. Okay. Because my mom's family are extremely religious Catholics. Okay. And so they were were super conservative right. so almost it didn't matter that it kind of she blended. was white yeah. it was it complemented she was Asian. Strict and he she was, was strict. strict he was strict and it was just like it mm. was almost even more Asian than Asian <laughs> so what it was is arts were just like a, a no so yeah. I loved ballet I love violin I mm. love dancing these are the things that I just wanted to do I loved I was just like a natural entertainer you know yeah. my kids would try and take a picture of, um, my parents would try and take a picture of me and I would just be like yeah. Naturally, I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah. I didn't even know it was posing, but it's just yeah. the way I was. Um, but my parents are like, no, you no doctor or a lawyer, like mm -hmm. for real, and and you have to get like a proper job. And this mm -hmm. is what, like really, really hardcore, traditional, culturally Asian values. Yeah. And so when I wanted to do art at university, it's kind of I'll put it this way: I was strongly discouraged, right. and I ended up getting into IT. Mm -hmm. um, but I can't, you can't. You Did know, you enjoy when, IT? So I was, I was really good at it and yeah. I am a total geek. I'm right. like, I'm, I'm a nerd. So I did, I, I was like, hello, yeah. I did love it. Yeah. But um, I knew that I wasn't expressing myself. Yeah. Um, I once get, got sent home in my office for dressing mm -hmm. too gregariously. I mean, it just, it wasn't for me, like I wasn't destined for a corporate environment. Yeah. I wanted to express myself. And I think as a kid, when you have that much passion inside of you, yeah. you can only repress it for so long, yeah. you know? And so that's when literally around that time where I'm kind of feeling it out and mm -hmm. I'm being that good little Asian daughter, yeah. I heard about burlesque. And it was game over for me. Like that was where I was just like, what, what shit. <laughs> what attracted you to doing burlesque? So very much. What actually is burlesque? I don't even know. Okay, so burlesque. I watched your show to find out. You did, which one? <laughs> Singapore Social. Oh, okay. So burlesque is, um, it's a dance form. It originated from very, very old Italian theatre. Okay. Um, it involves lingerie and it involves a strip tease, yeah. but no, not stripping per se. So it's so strip it's, tease without nudity. It's all about the tease, none of the reveal. Okay. So it's, um, and it's very feminist in that the onus is with the performer, with the woman. So oh, okay. you decide, there, you can even decide so not to take anything with, off. The power is with the woman, but it's 100%. about the tease. Okay, yeah, I get you. 100%. So it's empowering 80% of my audiences are women. Yeah. And it really just celebrates female confidence. Brilliant. Or if it's it's boylesque, mm. male confidence. It just celebrates that person taking control and reclaiming their bodies and their sexuality. Yeah. So it's still, as you can imagine, for a very strict Indian family, yeah. a no-go.